This is vocabulary list eight. Now, as we start learning the signs in this list, remember that we talked about how not all signs in sign language are on your hands. Some signs in American Sign Language are on your face. Those are called non-manual signs. Manual means your hands. So if it's not manual, not on your hands, it's on your face. So the first two signs in this list will require your face. So we're going to first start with the sign for understand. So you want to start with your finger like this, put your palm facing behind you, pointing back behind you, and then you're going to flick, flick, flick. So it looks like that. Okay, flick, flick, flick. Now by itself, that means nothing. You have to put a non-manual sign with it. So this is the sign, understand. That non-manual sign is a nodding of your head. Understand. The next sign is don't understand, which also requires a non-manual sign. Don't understand. Slow is signed this way. You want two flat hand shapes. The hand that you usually use for writing is called your dominant hand, and that's going to just come slowly up your arm. That's the sign for slow. The next sign is the sign for again or repeat. So you want to start with a flat hand shape on your non-dominant hand, the hand that you don't use for writing, and point your palm up. Your dominant hand is going to have a flat hand shape too, but you're going to bend it just a little bit like that. Okay, so here's the sign. And it means repeat or again. The next sign is the sign for yes. So you want an S hand shape and you nod. It's like you're nodding your head up and down, right? That's the sign for yes. Yes. The sign for no is two fingers close together with your thumb sticking out like that. And then you move them back and forth to touch. While you do that, you shake your head no. No. The next sign is how are you? So you're going to put both of your um, hands with kind of your thumbs up like this. Bring your knuckles together and then move them out this way. How? And then it just kind of goes right into you. How are you? How are you? And you remember in ASL, we don't use to be verbs. And are, how are you, is a to be verb. So you don't say, how are you? You just say, how are you? And because it's a question, you want kind of a questioning look on your face too. Uh, one of the responses that you could give if someone asks, how are you, is fine. So you want a five hand shape. You're going to just tap your thumb against your chest. And that means fine. Next, we'll learn the signs for good and bad, which are other things that you can say if somebody asks, how are you? So for good, you want two flat hand shapes. Turn your palms, turn your hands around so your palms are facing you. Put your dominant hand, the hand that you write with, close to your chin and come straight down and hit. Good. Bad is almost the same, only, so you start in the same way, only you turn your, your palm around. So with good, your palms stay facing you. You can see both of your palms by the time you're done signing the sign good. But for bad, you switch it, bad. Now for good and bad, you want to have the right expression on your face. Expression is like, in ASL is like what your voice does in English. So if you say, I'm good, that doesn't make sense. You have to say, I'm good. Something happy, right? Good, something good. For bad, your face wants to look bad in ASL. 
something like that. The next two signs are happy and sad. And again, you need to use your expression. You need to make the sign happy look happy. That will make it mean happy. And same with sad. You want it to look sad so that it really means sad. So happy, you have one flat hand shape. You can use two if you want. We'll start with the two. And you just hit your chest this way, happy. But make sure your face looks happy too. Or if you do one, you can just hit in the middle of your chest. One hand. So make sure you look happy. And then sad is two five hand shapes, not flat hand shapes, but five hand shapes. Turn your palms to you. And then kind of like, like a frown goes down, you want your hands to go down. So this is a sign for sad. Next we have go. So you want two number one hand shapes. So you don't want your fist open. You want your fist closed like a fist, right? That's a one hand shape. So you want two of those, and then you're going to have your palms facing out away from you. Not that you're looking at them, but they're facing away. And then you kind of drop your wrist like that, right? Go. Go. Come is just the opposite way. So you want two one hand shapes, but this time you want your hands, your palms facing you, and you do it this direction. So this is go. And this is come. The next sign is the sign for not or don't or doesn't. You want one, uh, your thumb up on one hand. This will be your dominant hand, the one that you write with. <clears throat> you bring it underneath your chin and you bring it straight out. And while you do that, you shake your head. That's the non-manual sign that goes with it. Not, don't, doesn't. Now there are some other ways to make something like to say not in ASL, like, uh, or don't like, don't like, there's a different sign or don't want, there's a different sign than this. But generally speaking, this is how you would make something negative um, by saying not or don't or doesn't. The last sign in vocabulary list eight is um, kind of how um, deaf people say, oh, I see, gotcha. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a Y hand shape. And then what you're gonna do is from your elbow, you're gonna move your elbow and bounce. So don't do it in your wrist, but just in your elbow. And while you do that, the non-manual sign is going to be, hmm, ah, oh, I see, hmm, interesting. And that's vocabulary list eight, signs for communicating.